you caught wind of the latest buzz? It's creating quite a stir among the big shots and music fans alike. Diddy and Jay-Z appear to be on the verge of a breakup. While the controversial are, Kelly is finally breaking his silence from behind bars. Let's dig into the juicy details that have everyone talking. First on the list are hip-hop heavyweights Diddy and Jay-Z. These two have been influential figures in the music industry for decades, but recent reports indicate that their partnership may be coming to a close. Fans are both shocked and intrigued, speculating about what might have led to this significant split. Is it creative differences, personal issues, or something else altogether? Regardless of the cause, it's definitely stirring up conversation among music lovers around the globe. On the other hand, we have our Kelly, whose name has been in the headlines for all the wrong reasons. The controversial singer has been incarcerated for quite some time, facing serious allegations. But now, he's finally breaking his silence from behind bars, and people are eager to hear his side of the story. Will he confront the accusations against him? Will he show remorse or stand his ground? The world is watching closely. You might think our Kelly's prison sentence is purely about justice, but there's a surprising twist. The singer alleges that Jay-Z played a role in his incarceration. Wild, right? There are rumors suggesting that some questionable activities occurred during the trial, including claims of juror misconduct. It's said that certain jurors may have been influenced by a documentary funded by none other than Jay-Z himself. It's like a real-life drama unfolding right before our eyes. Our Kelly believes that Jay-Z has had it out for him for some time. Some even speculate it could be part of an Illuminati sacrifice. Now, here's the twist. R. Kelly is preparing for a legal battle and he's not holding back. He's enlisted the help of Bill Cosby's lawyer. He's not just aiming to fight his conviction. He's seeking a full reversal. The real kicker? His team asserts that two jurors who viewed the documentary should never have been part of his case. Why? It seems Jay-Z was unhappy about reportedly losing a $70 million lawsuit to Kelly. Could this be a revenge plot worthy of a movie? Fast forward to today and R. Kelly is making strategic moves. He's filed an appeal to overturn his conviction, with his lawyers pulling out all the stops. They're arguing about biased jurors and claiming Kelly was kept in the dark about the ages of his partners. This is shaping up to be a legal showdown like no other, with Kelly fighting fiercely for his freedom. But wait, there's more. Rumor has it that R. Kelly has a score to settle with some high-profile celebrities. He's on a mission to expose their secrets, convinced they abandoned him when he needed their support the most. Talk about a cold dish of revenge. Reports suggest that this list includes a rapper and a well-known singer. Sources indicate that R. Kelly and his team are working with federal authorities to reduce his prison time by providing evidence against other celebrities allegedly involved in his controversies. You may have heard about R. Even more shocking is the allegation he has leveled against Jay-Z, accusing him of inappropriate behavior. Why would R. Kelly make such a serious claim against a fellow artist and friend? According to Ronnie Bao, another friend of Kelly's, there's a palpable sense of injustice in how only Kelly seems to be suffering the fallout while Jay-Z appears to remain untouched. This has definitely sparked conversation. Fans following this drama believe that ignoring wrongdoing makes you just as culpable. If you witness a crime and choose to remain silent, you're not innocent. In fact, some argue that you may be even more at fault than the perpetrator, as you're complicit in allowing it to happen. What's even more unsettling is that some fans speculate that those who stay quiet might have their own secrets to hide. They fear speaking out against the atrocities they see, worried they could be implicated in similar crimes. It's not just finger-pointing. They're bringing up both old and new accusations against Jay-Z to support their claims. For instance, there are allegations involving Aaliyah and Foxy Brown. Rumors suggest that Jay-Z dated both of these teenage girls, with Buzz circulating for years about him allegedly starting to date Foxy Brown when she was just 14. They reportedly became involved when she was 15 and he was 24. It's undeniably unsettling, but then again, that's Hollywood for you. A place where some truly troubling things happen. And here's the kicker. Jay-Z eventually addressed these rumors in his song Picasso Baby, where he rapped, I never stuck my piece in the fox's box, but damn if I ain't opened up Pandora's box. 
He also touched on slanderous claims against him made on CNN and Fox. However, Foxy Brown wasn't too pleased about it. She had advised Jay to let the rumors fade, and in an interview, she expressed her shock at his line. According to her, they shared a history beyond music and often laughed off those rumors together. But here's the twist. Foxy mentioned feeling the pressure from the discussions about her age, which she believes might have prompted Jay to address the issue. She said, Was I shocked when Jay said that line in Picasso, baby? Yes, because we've talked about it. We have a history that goes beyond music. We know how this business works. We laugh at those rumors. She acknowledged that the scrutiny over her age could have weighed on him. It's a bit perplexing, right? She was allegedly involved as a teenager, yet now she's defending him as an adult. It's a puzzling situation, especially considering the consent issue, which is significant since she was a minor at the time. If the rumors hold any truth, it raises serious concerns. On another note, Jay-Z hasn't commented much about his relationship with Aaliyah. His former business partner, Dame Dash, has shared some insights, stating that Jay-Z had his sights set on Aaliyah, but she wasn't interested. Instead, Dash ended up winning her heart. It's a tangled web of accusations and allegations, raising important questions about accountability. In an interview with the That F Up podcast, Dash recounted, I just threw my a game. I guess Jay was trying to get at her too. I didn't know. It got brought up and I was like, F both of y'all. But it never worked out for them. Around the same time, rumors circulated that Jay-Z was trying to pursue the Try Again singer, but that claim never gained traction due to a lack of evidence. However, the allegation that has persisted is linked to Aaliyah's tragic death. Some fans suggest that Jay-Z sacrificed Aaliyah to pave the way for Beyonce's rise to global stardom. This has even led some of Jay-Z's most devoted fans to question the moral integrity of their idol. They argued that if the rumors about Jay's affair with Foxy Brown originated from only one or two people, they might dismiss them. But with around four credible sources, including fellow celebrities, coming forward, many began to consider the possibility that Jay-Z could indeed be guilty of these allegations. Some fans even began drawing comparisons between Jay-Z and R. Kelly, suggesting that Jay-Z might be even worse than the convicted sex offender. They questioned why Jay-Z would collaborate with R. Kelly, fully aware of his involvement with underage girls and other serious allegations. Outrage mounted, with many fans calling for accountability from Jay-Z, Dame Dash expressed his disbelief, asking why Jay would work on two projects with R. Kelly, especially after it became public knowledge that the disgraced R&B star had married Aaliyah when she was just 15. Dash stated, I just couldn't believe Jay would collaborate with R. Kelly knowing what he did to my girl Aaliyah. Just don't put my name on that. I don't want any money from it. If there is any, donate it to Aaliyah's foundation. Before their feud began in 2004, Jay-Z and R. Kelly were industry friends and had collaborated on several projects. As R. Kelly faced serious trials for child sexual abuse and other related crimes. Many celebrities distanced themselves from him. However, Jay-Z and Beyonce chose not to publicly criticize R. Kelly, leading to speculation that they might have been complicit in his actions. While fans attempted to defend Jay-Z, insisting he was unaware of R. Kelly's crimes and that they were simply industry colleagues, the questions about accountability persisted. However, this defense was weakened in 2002 when Nas revealed in an interview with Wendy Williams that both he and Jay-Z were aware of R. Kelly's actions. Nas distanced himself from R. Kelly and criticized Jay-Z for feigning ignorance, stating, You can't tell me Jay didn't see a 14-year-old girl come into the studio and sit on R. Kelly's lap. Despite the growing allegations, Jay-Z continued to collaborate with R. Kelly, even praising him. He remarked, when you get two people like this coming together, it sends a signal out. It's bigger than music, referring to their joint album, Best of Both Worlds. During this period, two anonymous women accused R. Kelly of sexual misconduct, claiming he had engaged with them against their will while they were underage. Although the police launched investigations, they were eventually dropped when the women refused to provide additional evidence. After R. Kelly was indicted for possessing videos involving minors, Jay-Z still supported his friend, stating, I got love for the dude. If he's guilty, I just hope and pray that he gets help. If he's not, 
I Wish Everybody Embraces Him. Following R. Kelly's release, Jay-Z continued collaborating with him, while other stars distanced themselves due to his past deeds. Celebrities like Dame Dash called Jay-Z out for his continued partnership with Kelly, claiming that he had even stopped talking to Jay over it. They went on to release their joint album Unfinished Business in 2014 and embarked on a tour that same year. Many pundits speculated that Jay's persistence in working with R. Kelly was driven by financial incentives, with reports suggesting that their first two shows in Chicago alone could gross around $1.6 million. Fans accused Jay-Z of prioritizing money over his image, with comments like, I believe everything he said about Jay-Z. That ninja is a snake for real. Others echoed the sentiment, stating, I believe that there are more people than are. Kelly that need to be in a jail cell. So what's next in this epic saga? Should Jay-Z be held to the same standard as R. Kelly? Will Kelly get his redemption? Or will Jay-Z have the last laugh? One thing's for sure. This feud is far from over. Stay tuned for the next chapter in the R. Kelly vs. Jay-Z showdown. It's bound to be a wild ride. But hey, let me know what you think about all this in the comments below and share with your family and friends. Subscribe and click on the bell notification.